All right, guys, so as you can see from the front of this car, very, very similar to the Porsche 962. And what I really like is I actually like the open cockpit look better. Um, it has such a distinctive look that was being used during that time period. Um, and you just know, I mean, you just know when this is coming down the track that it's a Porsche prototype car, especially if you've been around for as long as I have watching these types of races. Um, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside and what the driver sees when he's operating this car around the track. All right, so there is where you would be sitting if you were driving this car around the high banks of Daytona, especially back in 1995. You know, this is where we start to see carbon fiber creep in. If you look down here, you would see that monocoque, that aluminum monocoque. Remember, this is like a transition car. The old monocoque styling of the 80s was being blended with carbon fiber technology. So you see more and more of it being used. But as you can see, it's the bare bones business behind the wheel of this car. Um, this is still a time where you didn't see a lot of electronics when it came to paddle shifters and all that. If you look over to the left hand side, you'll see the brake bias button. You could actually send more force of the brakes to the front or to the rear as you're driving around the car. So like I said, the Porsche brand, the Porsche heritage has so many stories and this Kramer Racing K8 is just a big picture because of that whole situation where the factory team backed out, they stayed in and won the race in the 1995 24 Hours of Daytona. All right, so when you look at the back end of this Kramer Racing Porsche, you can see just how the aerodynamics were changing into the 1990s. Cars were very, very low. They were doing different work with the tunnels underneath the cars. This car, like I said, even with the restrictors, still won the race. I really love this rear wing. You know, that's what it's about. When these cars come into the pits, not about just getting fuel. It's not about just getting tires. It's about making adjustments because over time, this car is going to change how it handles. And that's what you need to have behind you. Not only good drivers, but also a great team. And definitely the Kramer Racing Brothers and the Kramer Racing team was definitely a step above the rest during this time period. So let's go ahead and check out the front of this Kramer Racing portion that actually won the 1995 24 Hours of Daytona. All right, guys, so I want to thank you for watching today. I want to give a huge shout out to the Audrain Motorsport Museum, Car Museum in uh, Rhode Island. You definitely want to go to that museum. They have a wonderful collection of cars, including this Kramer K8. Make it a choice to go out there. You know, they're always bringing in new cars and rotating what they have, and they're always coming out to events like this. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.